Hey, this is Augie, Augie's Locker Room. When you come to the store, you're going to see things that you've probably never seen before unless you've been to a museum. Great items that go back to the Rockney era to the present. Website, augieslockerroom.com. Visit us here or the website. We are 48 hours away from seeing our first full practice since the opener on August 5th. Today was a brief showing. Uh, Tim Priester is at the Notre Dame Club of Milwaukee tonight, so it was a solo mission, and I think the, the news today really was who was back, who moved, and who was out. We saw Jaden Thomas on a bike, we saw Joe Wilkins participating with the wide receivers in drills, and we saw Xavier Watts in a blue jersey wearing number 26 moving over to work with the wide receivers. I think that comes as no surprise, but that puts, a, I guess, a cap on all the speculation as to who would have to move to the smaller wide receiver room. There were six offensive linemen out today, so I wouldn't read too much into this. You're thinking rest day, possibly flu situations. The most notable among them would be starter Jarrett Patterson. But as I said, I looked up, saw 11 offensive linemen, started counting the numbers. There were guys missing like Taj Baker, Patrick Coogan. There was a bunch of guys out, freshman Emil Wagner, Caleb Johnson, and another. Uh, back today was uh, Jaden Bellamy. As noted, he had was down with an illness last week. Nolan Ziegler as well. I did not see Prince Collie, but I am told he came in in uniform, so Prince Collie back as well. One of the highlights today was we did see the kickoff return work. Uh, some of the notable players you would expect back there were working at it. It was half field action, so they got to work in tandem. You saw Chris Tyree and Lorenzo Styles. You saw Braden Lindsay and Tobias Merriweather. And also Jabron Payne was one of the five return men. So you figure you're gonna get two of those guys against Ohio State. It did not look like they were going with the certain blocker where they have done in the past with Sebo Flemister and Matt Salerno. It looked like all five were possibly active returners. Up front, notables were Josh Burnham and Jordan Botello blocking, which is like also what you would imagine. And then I'm sure you'll see some tight ends fill in. The tight ends were doing a different drill today, so they were not involved in the kick return blocking. Um, going through, a little bit half nickel work. So what you, whether you can see first string or second string, what you can report would be Tariq Bracey was a nickel on one half of the field. Jaden Mickey was a nickel on the other half of the field. Starters looked to be again. Clarence Lewis and came hard on the outside. Brandon Joseph and, believe, and DJ Brown. It looked like Brandon Joseph was with the ones, but as I said, they're splitting the field. So then you saw Ramon Henderson and Houston Griffith come in on the other side. I think crucial to today though, is when Jaden Thomas is out and getting Joe Wilkins back. It's great that Joe Wilkins is back, but Jaden Thomas is a guy that has to start. And Joe Wilkins, four months removed from foot surgery is a guy that can help Notre Dame going to September, they hope, as long as he stays healthy. I think Jaden Thomas has to, of course, Maybe he has a rest day, maybe it's uh, just monitoring his progress, and maybe it's a GPS situation where they've worked Jaden Thomas so hard because they don't have enough wide receivers that he had to be scaled back a little bit today. Deion Colsey was on the bikes. Good news being that he, the last time we saw Deion Colsey last week, he just had a knee brace on, so Colsey working as well. Obviously, it's time to ask Marcus Freeman about Colsey tomorrow. We will talk to Freeman with no practice access tomorrow. Six scholarship receivers with Wilkins back. Very important one on the sideline is probably the biggest takeaway from today. I'll be back with a full practice report on irishillustrated.com, and then we speak with running backs coach Dylan McCullough and all four running backs, including Logan Diggs, who continues to participate in the red jersey. But it, with him coming out to speak, I think it's a good sign that he could be activated sooner rather than later heading into the season.